Hey guys, Gizbeat here. We got a three-part series. First part is backup. After backup, I'm going to teach you how to do CWM, and then I'm also going to teach you how to flash your backup. Okay, let's get right to it. First thing you need is an MTK phone. That phone needs to be rooted. You need to have USB debugging enabled. You need to have ADB drivers installed on your PC, and you need this tool here, MTK Droid Tool. And you can get all of that information. If, if any of that confuses you at all, you can get all the information and this tool on ChinaPhoneArena.com. I'll include the links in the description. The first thing you need is to, after you've got rooted and USB debugging enabled and ADB drivers installed, you're going to plug your phone in. We're also assuming you have MTK Droid Tools running. So now I'm plugging the phone into USB. And you see the information comes up here. We've got IMEI here, and hardware, and model. Um, we see the important part down here is we have yellow. That means that SU is found. It means the phone is rooted. However, we need a root shell. We need root shell permissions to make the backup. And see here how this is grayed out? That's because even though we're rooted, we don't have root shell permissions yet. So we're going to go click root right here, this button here. And it asks, try to receive root shell through already established SU. And we're going to click yes. On your phone, at that point, you're going to have a, if your phone, assuming your phone is properly rooted, you should have a super user request. You're going to grant that. At that point, uh, MTK Droid Tools will go through the process of getting the proper permissions for root shell. So that just takes a few seconds here. Okay, that's done. Now we're, we're green. That means we're good to go. We have root shell. At that point, we're going to click backup. From here on, it's all automated. And I'm going to click backup. I'll show you what starts to happen here. And it tells you exactly where it's saving the backup. D slash, and then the it's going to save it in the MTK Droid Tools. Wherever you extracted that, it's going to save that in that folder under backups. And here you can see it's getting all the individual parts of the Okay, guys, we're back. I know that was very quick for you, but for me, it was about 15 minutes. You'll see here we have packing backup. After the backup is finished, it'll ask you, do you want to pack the backup? Uh, that's up to you. I normally just click no. If you want, you can pack the backup into a zip. At this point, I'm just going to click no. Now what we want to do is prepare the blocks for Flash Tool. We want to make this firmware, the ROM that you just backed up, we want to make it ready to flash with the SP flash tool. So we just nor we just click to prepare blocks for flash tool, click it once, and then we're going to select the backup. If your backup isn't in the default location, then just direct it to your backup. And then you're going to select this here, double click files. It's actually an MD5 checksum file. And then you'll see it start to copy and prepare the backup for SP flash tools. Okay, guys, that's it for this part one. That's making a backup. Part two is going to be how to take your backup and turn it into CWM. <laughs>